everybody and welcome to a very high pitched voice. What happened? It's like I hit the note and then I had to maintain. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire has arrived. <laughs> hey you! <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm so excited to start this one with you. I say that every time, but I truly am. I look forward to it because I take time off when I upload. I take like three days off. So I think about what I'm going to say to you guys and I get myself all pumped up and ready for it. So it's a very exciting thing. Every time I start these videos, I'm always in the best mood usually unless something happened. But <laughs> for the most part, I am like so excited to turn on the camera what is that what was that and talk to you guys so i was just getting ready and i thought i would flip this on and chat you through oh no i just stamped myself but um this is that pure anata mascara you guys i have this in my store and it's so good it's such a good mascara the formula is just really creamy i love i love how creamy uh, the mascara is and it's re it's organic and it's a woman owned business based out of the prairies of Canada it's so like the whole thing is just so cute and the packaging is amazing it's like this like really strong dirty like mascara bottle it's not like cheap plastic I just love it I love it so much it's really affordable too I'm not saying this just so you guys will go buy my mascara I just want you to know how good it is you know what I mean it's gonna be a festive freaking week we're gonna do christmas tree we're gonna do advent calendars we're gonna do <laughs> i feel like i'm on qvc <laughs> we're gonna do christmas trees today i think where i'm gonna go get the clips to go on my house to put my christmas lights up and on top of all that all of my doggy guests have gone i love them but I really, really, really appreciate having my home back to the normal. There's a lot, we had someone puke on my couch. We've had <laughs> a lot of puke, poo, pee, and diapers. And a month of it straight, I am celebrating by, first of all, I clean my house and I'm gonna go get myself some Sephora goodies. Uh, I was given this from the rep for YSL because I was freelancing with her for a little while and she gave this to me and it's the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer Highlighter. I've actually stopped using it because I'm hoarding it. Oh, let me just pump a little bit out. Actually, we'll just do this because I don't want to waste it. It's this like really nice shimmery kind of under primer or over doesn't really matter but I like it under the skin to give it a glow but I love it so much and I've heard really good things about the Giorgio Armani foundation so I want to go get some time for a new foundation I need a new concealer because I am also out of concealer and what else uh, I need to make a list I need to make a list of some fun things so we're gonna go to Sephora but what I did want to do is open up my advent calendar with you guys if you got an advent calendar for the holidays and you want to make a habit of opening it with me I would love that so much so please go grab a coffee grab your advent calendar and we can open it together because I got the Sephora one that I showed you guys. And I think it comes with two things in it. Uh, since I do weekly vlogs, I'm doing Vlogmas in a sense because I'm doing weekly vlogs of just day to day what I'm doing. I'm just not uploading every day. I just don't think I would have the view. I think that would really mess with my view count because I have such low views on my little channel over here. Uh, but without further ado, I'm still wearing Mac, by the way, Myth and uh, KKW lip liner. I need a new lip liner. I need another one like this. I need to find one that matches this. So I need to take this with me. So here it is. Yay! I'm so excited. The Wishing You Sephora 12 Surprises 6 Days 2 Gifts Per Day. So that means I'll have probably at the end, like the final week, a few extras to open. This is very exciting. I don't think I've ever had an advent calendar that's product I usually get candy one two three four five six so we're gonna do week by week and I think there should be two gifts in each box I've never done an advent calendar I'm so okay. the first thing is a charcoal gentle exfoliating wipe look at 
It's a mini. It's a mini charcoal wipe. Here. We'll incorporate a little bit of ASMR. What is it? <laughs> no, that's not for doggies. I really should get a doggy advent though. And then Manoy Creamy Body Wash. Look, it's just a one use body wash. I love that. I wonder what it smells like, sir. <laughs> Why is he so cute? Yay, there we go. Week one advent calendar out of the way. We'll just make sure we open that every time. Getting to wear my Louboutins, everybody. My Louboutins. I'm so excited to be able to wear them. I have on little socks with them. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> They're little polka dot sheer socks so you can't really tell but they're keeping my feet just a little bit warmer because I just cannot with bare feet in well it's not winter yet I can't believe it's actually still autumn everybody <laughs> but I'm really liking this monochromatic gray on gray with this nude detailing so I'm wearing a few different various types of monochrome so like the nude is monochrome I've got like one two three like four different types and shades of nude and then two different types of shades of gray it's fun so the cap length sleeve little sweater here, I love it so much. It's Marc Jacobs and it's so cozy and looks so good over a lot of stuff. I can wear it over dresses, I can wear it over stuff like this. It's just the best and it has the biggest hood, which I love. <laughs> so it's great if it like, starts raining or snowing. Uh, this is Rebecca Minkoff, the nude purse, and then Louboutin, Louboutin shoes. We are at the mall. I have not been here in a very long time. It's been a very long time. Well, I did a terrible job of getting any footage of anything while I was in the mall, just because it's the mall. I did go to Nordstrom and Sephora. Look at this gift wrapping. Look, that is so cool and different. This is Nordstrom's gift wrapping options this year. It's this really nice recycled feeling kind of paper car cardboard almost. I'm going black and white and green for the Christmas decor this year, so it's gonna match everything. So excited about that. <laughs> that is a present for my husband. He doesn't watch my videos, so I wonder if I can say, oh, and then Sephora. My battery's about to die, so I'm not gonna say what it was, but it's a cool gift. And can't wait to show you what I got at Sephora, but I'm gonna continue running errands and I'll see you guys back at the house. <laughs> Marvin, go outside and go potty. He says, screw this, it's too cold. Can you believe this weather? It's like freaking dumping snow. Was not expecting this today. I thought the snow was over and it had already melted. We had that beautiful morning, but apparently we're supposed to have like a winter storm morning for the next 24 hours. It's not sticking, it's just not cold enough, but it's, Really pretty to look at. And we're gonna go get our tree. Nothing like picking out a Christmas tree when it's actually snowing. We're getting a Christmas tree in the snow. These ones are nice and tall and skinny. Tall and skinny is the goal. That is a good tree. I like that one too. Is that one? Yeah. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, we look around more. Here's What's the different? Look at all the sparkles. But look, they have glitter. Babe. Psst. Psst. There's a freaking cranberry tree. Wow. The 
This looks like like a metal Christmas tree. You know what this tree does when, when you shake it? It goes jun jun. Look at this! I want it, babe. A Douglas fir. I dub you a noble fur. <laughs> I do this every year. <laughs> this one's a nice zoop. I think these ones drop a lot of needles, but they're like half the price. 50 bucks left. Yeah. What's the price? Oh, these are traditional style Christmas trees. Yeah. I think it just says Doug. <laughs> What's up, Doug? <laughs> ah, Sarah's a tree. There she is. You know what's funny when we were there? I guess because we were next to so many other big trees that we were like, this is small and skinny. We, we said we wanted to go for a tall tree, but a really narrow tree so that it just like fit the space really well. Cause we do have tall ceilings in our living room and we got it home and we're like, this is huge. <laughs> we did not expect to get a tree this big. <laughs> Oh well, it's we love it. It's beautiful. I think this one is a noble. What is it actually? I just really want to enjoy the twinkle of some Christmas lights. So I'm going to decorate a little bit tonight and then in the morning. But yeah, we've got on Home Alone and got a candle going and it's festive as fuck because the snow. Door closed. It's beautiful. Is it a noble? Or a Doug? Front. Or a Norm? Is it a Norm McDonald? F R Z F R A Z stands for. F R A Z. Fraser. A Fraser. It's a Fraz. <laughs> it's a Fraz. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if I, I showed this, but I got some new ornaments. I really wanted black and white. Not black and white. I wanted black. But these are so cool. I don't know if you can see. The colors are like beige and gray. Very unconventional Christmas colors. I'm excited. This is my husband's cool book he just got. He just got a tattoo book. From Tim Lehigh. Isn't that neat? Look at that print. It's cool. Well, can I? Can I show the book? It's really cool. Talented tattoo artist here. Wow, it's so cool. I haven't even looked through it yet. Have you looked through most of it? You just did yeah. a quick flip. <gasps> Sepultura, that's what I was playing in my last, um... did he do Sepultura p band posters? Maybe. Wow. That's his drawing. Yeah. Wow. <gasps> That's cool. Anyway, go buy the book. Actually, they're probably sold out, huh? Not yet. Not yet. Very cool. Day. I got my Jolla juice. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I see this giant, it's the size of my head, this giant coffee mug and it says Jolla juice. I always want to say it like that. Jolla juice. I don't know why. It reminds me of the character on Jurassic Park that was explaining in the module how DNA works. Dinosaur DNA. <laughs> it reminds me of that. 
Oh my gosh. Sorry, I have got a runny nose this morning. I am definitely feeling the snowy weather outside. I cannot believe this weather. I don't think anybody was expecting this. I mean, when I was looking on my, even on my weather app, because I'm one of those weather nerds, I'll just put the weather channel on for comfort's sake. My dad used to do that when we were growing up. So it always made me feel comforted to hear just the weather going on across the US. Um, so I usually know what's going on <laughs> with the weather. But around here, it is so unpredictable. There's just no freaking way that you can prepare for anything. And you never know what to wear. I don't know what to wear right now. I'm still in my robe because it won't stop snowing. And I was planning on going into the store today, but I'm not going to drive in this. I am not a drive in snow type. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys the makeup. I tried it on this morning and that's when I found my face. And I thought you guys wanted to see it. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just wanted to put everything back in the box because I wanted you guys to see the product like as I purchased it and then we can open it. Do we need to move to the window? Because you guys keep going in and out of focus and I feel like that's because it's a little dark. That's much better. All right, so we have on the Giorgio, we being me and myself and I, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He's giving me kisses. I have on Tanner, my baby. Oh, I love you, Bean. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. That's like a thing I do with my dog suddenly. You know, sometimes I start like these new habits. <laughs> uh, so we have this on. I can throw the box away. I'm not going to throw it away. I want to make sure I'm not allergic to it or that I have any... I keep feeling this hair tickling my face. Um, that I have any issues with it because it's so expensive. I want to make sure I 100% love it. I was actually nervous at first that I got too light of a color, which is wild because this is a five a five to me five is like light medium so i was like oh no but i think it's good i think we're good can you believe i put tanner on do i even look even remotely tan <laughs> and the good thing is is that it's better to be a little bit lighter and be able to bronze so that it'll kind of adjust with my skin as my tan fades as opposed to darker and then i can only wear it on my tannest day I like it a lot and the feel of it is the most lightweight foundation I think I've ever tried other than foundations that are like watery based almost coverage is really nice though so you get a really great coverage but it just feels like your skin I actually want to google like their description Giorgio Armani's I want to like go on their website and see what they're saying about it because this is almost boggling my mind like how is it such good coverage but also so lightweight i don't feel like i have anything on my skin at all it's kind of a miracle <laughs> um i really really like it basically long story short but then we also have on the giorgio armani multi-purpose glow concealer another one that is very lightweight feeling really smooth very like it just glides on your skin the doe foot applicator i don't even know if this is considered a doe foot like one of those teardrop applicators that has the well in the center to grab a little bit of the product so it's designed oh you're not seeing that <laughs> i was like looking at it myself so it's kind of designed to grab a little bit of the product so when you sweep it on it just fits under your eyes so nicely i do really really love it i wouldn't expect anything less from a prestige high-end luxury brands cosmetics but it's bomb. It's pretty bomb. It's pretty bomb. I didn't want to love it. Everything has this frosted glass. It's really pretty. So I got a 5 in the foundation and a 4.5 in the concealer just so that it was a little bit more brightening under eye. And then we use the Freck across the nose. This is a freckle I already have, but it's kind of muted. So I always darken it and same as this beauty mark. And this is the biggest bottle of Freck. Mine is this big, the one that I have. And it's lasted me two years. So the smallest little bottle in this little bottle, every time I say that, I think of Lucille Ball, is going to last me forever. I feel like I'm going to have to put this in my will because I can't 
with how big this is. Yay, I'm gonna use the crap out of it. Uh, this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Metallic Taupe. You guys have had this before, you've seen me use this before, and I used it all up. And I, I got a different one. Which one did I end up getting? Moonlit, Moonlight. I've been wearing Moonlight. Whenever I just wanna do my makeup really quick, like my 15 minute makeup, foundation, quick bronzer and blush, gloss on the lips, my lashes are already done, and I just wanna pop something on my eye. I use these little sticks. They're just so handy, so quick. I don't even use a brush. I put them on directly, and then I just take my finger and sweep them across to work it out. And I always catch it in like the light or something, and I'll be like, ooh, you know? I love it. I love when you, I love when you do that, when you like admire your own makeup from that day. And then the final thing is the Anastasia liner. It's what I have on right now. And I just put it on with Max Faux. I've been, again, really into wearing my lipsticks that I have from MAC. I have a collection of lipsticks from MAC. Been loving them again. And so the Dusty Rose liner from Anastasia, Anastasia, uh, went with this one really good, but it's also kind of a mauve-y. I wanted it a little bit more brown than this, so I'm still actually going to be on the hunt for another lip liner. I think I really just want to reorder my Vive Brat, because that's my favorite one, aside from the KKW number one, which is no longer being made. The other thing I was thinking with this that's a little odd is that it's hexagonal shaped. I feel like this is probably a tough sell for people who work for the brand and have to like, you know, go to store to store like I used to do brand ambassadorships and explain to people that this still works in your pencil sharpener because my first thought was, do I need to buy a special sharpener just for this shape? Because it's jagged. It's got, it's not a circle, so it doesn't like twist smoothly. You know what I mean? And I did try it. I put it in my sharpener. I twisted it. It worked fine. And actually, if you think about it, our pencils at school... Didn't they used to have this shape? Or shape like this and I never once considered whether or not it would go in the sharpener. Cause that way it didn't roll. That way it doesn't roll off your table and break. Cause what happens, especially with these little pencils. <gasps> Aha! <laughs> that I get. So, did you know that when your lip pencils or pencils in general fall onto a hard surface on the floor and bounce, a lot of times it breaks it within the shaft of the pencil. So that way when you're sharpening it, if you've ever had it falling out and then you lose all this product, it's because it's been broken up inside of the pencil. It's fallen and shattered inside the pencil. So then you get these broken off pieces. I bet they did this so that it doesn't roll off your table because this isn't rolling at all. Oh my God. It's the smartest pencil I've ever seen. Hopefully people get that. You hear, you, you heard it here first. <laughs> I'm so smart. Oh my God. Freaking makeup genius here. I'm the Einstein of cosmetics. I was going to put the words together and see if it, something clever came up and nothing did. So maybe I'm not as smart as I thought. <laughs> e equals makeup C squared. <laughs> no, <laughs> canceled. Anyway, that's really smart. And now I've just fallen in love with these pencils. Anywho, well, I'm just going to go put on comfy clothes for now. And then if I change my mind, I can try to toss on something kind of cute and go work the store for a little bit. But the sun's supposed to come out later. Hopefully that will cook all of the snow away. Oh my God, my tree. I have to go get dressed and show you the tree. <gasps> Here is the Christmas tree during the day. I thought I would just show you guys. You know what's wild? I put probably a hundred ornaments on this tree and it looks naked. It really blows my mind because you're like, gosh, how long have I been decorating this thing? And it doesn't look like there's anything on it. And I don't really want a cluttered tree, but I say like all or nothing. So this to me still looks a little bit too empty, which should I just go get the other box of ornaments? You know, or, or, is I wanna do the velvet bow look? So, sir, I am in the middle of talking about Christmas. Sir, 
Um, I think I want to do red bows. So I did mix in some of my favorite ornaments with it. I love these old classic frosted kind of glass ornaments. This is an old thrifted partridge in a pear tree snow globe. Oh, I'm not showing it to you. I was holding the thing too low. That one's really heavy. I also have some icicles. I put some berry sticks, some red snowflakes. So there's, you know, a variety of things. Another one of those classic looking, I just love this old vintage ornament style. So I do still collect those. And then these, of course, I show every year, but are my favorite. All the retro 1950s and 60s ornaments are definitely my favorite. I need more. Battery's dying. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do some stuff. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello everybody, good morning. If you can't tell, I just got out of the shower, so I'm looking a little naked. And uh, I have no lashes on either. I took them off finally. They had lasted me, gosh. I think I made those last almost two weeks, which is just crazy. One more set left, and then I have the stragglers of four boxes. So that gives me two more weeks of DIY lash extension wear. Don't forget, I have codes and stuff below if you guys want some money off and enjoy some lashes. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I, the reason why my face is so naked is because I wanted to do something with you. This came in the mail just now, and I'm really excited to talk about it. It's the Gua Sha Stone. It's a jade Gua Sha Stone, and we can thank TikTok for me ordering this. I don't think it's anything obviously new. It's actually been around for a really long time. So the gal shared her before and after after using this and I immediately googled this and where to buy it. I got it for seven bucks so it's really affordable and essentially with the gua sha stone it's kind of like a little acupuncture acupressure system to depuff your face and just help kind of smooth your skin and do a little bit of lifting even. I did look up a gal using the gua sha stone. This is new to me so I'm kind of sharing with you guys as I'm learning and so she was talking about all of the points on your face where you can use it that really helps with just all sorts of benefits to helping the circulation in your face. You can use the stone all over your body. I really like the little case it came in though. It came with like this little sleeve and I'll probably just keep it in the box and use this at night with my skincare routine. From what I understand doing this daily is quite beneficial. So the various shapes of the jade stone are meant to be for different areas of the body. I'm gonna link the video that I watched below so you can reference to it to get it right because I might get it wrong with the shape. I mean, I don't think it really matters too much. It's so cold, it feels good. <laughs> but um, one thing I've learned from everyone so far that I've watched talk about it is you wanna use an oil because you don't want it to be pulling on your skin. So you wanna use something to help it glide. And so this is just the Truly Hemp Oil for face and body. Is this just for face? It's a facial serum. But yeah, I'm gonna use this one because I wanna make sure my face has plenty for this stone to work and glide. So every night I do already do a face oil. I think this will just be something I can add to my routine. I'll probably order another one of these just because they're so affordable and have one upstairs in case like I forgot to do it the night before and I was really tired, went to bed and that way I can get up the next morning and do it. So we're gonna try, we're gonna do this every single day and maybe I should just take like a before photo now. of what my face looks like and then what it's going to look like after. I can tell you a huge thing that helped with depuffing my face was quitting drinking. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've seen my videos from like even a year and a half ago when I was still drinking wine every single day and my face was so puffy when I look back at those videos. I'm like, oh my god. It's crazy like how much I've lost in my face and I really haven't like lost a whole bunch of weight in general. I've just de-bloated. A whole heck of a lot so anyway let's just go ahead and get this started I don't know why but it's, it's giving me great comfort to have her video up hi everyone Renee 
Renee Gothamista. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk about where we're going to use it today. I do know that this is really good for also like working out your neck muscles, especially if you're somebody who works from home and you feel like you're getting like tech neck is what she, I'm going to coin her term, tech neck is what she called it, where you get like really bad pains like in your neck and shoulders. This can help with this. You can use this all over your body. You can go up and down your spine with it. There's you know, if you have a partner, you can oil each other up and help each other out. But I'm going to do it just on my neck and jawline and around my face. So let me remember which side goes where. So I do know that she was saying to go in an upper motion. You want to drag it like this. You don't want to push and pull like this. It's more of a dragging, almost like you're icing yourself. So we're going to... Go up and each place we're going to do five times. She like held her face and skin when she was doing it and a lot when she gets to the face area because it's also helping like pressure points. We're going to do the jaw now, take the heart. She even recommended like getting to a spot where it feels a little tense, especially around the jaw. If you're somebody who clenches your jaw like I do, and just give it a little pressure wiggle. I don't know how many I've done, so I'm just gonna start at three, four, five. I always like to take like deep breaths whenever I'm doing something that to me feels like it's self-care. <laughs> It's like, mm. okay, there's that. And then when you get to this part of your face, she was holding here, taking the flat end. Less pressure and really make sure not tugging when you go around the sensitive eye area. But my dark circles have been really bothering me so I'm hoping maybe a little bit of circulation movement will really help with that and then when you get to the brow and then for the center of the forehead really beneficial too that if you have any sort of like really amazing serum that you're using it'll really help work it into your skin that is my first time ever using my gua sha stone on my face to see if we can try to promote some depuffing and some better circulation around my face hopefully get some lifting out of it and like I said ooh, I'm like warm my ears feel hot why do I feel like my whole face is like going like this it's pretty cool all right, here is the outfit for tonight. I'm actually going to be going to one of my favorite restaurants with my husband. We're going on a little date, and we always do the same thing, creatures of habit. We're going to table, which is the farm-to-table kind of fine dining-ish but casual uh, atmosphere restaurant in Tacoma. Food is amazing every time. Every time blows your mind. But I just took the tags off of this shirt. I got this shirt at Saks, and if you guys remember, I unboxed all of that stuff with you. This was one of the things I got, but I never tried it on because I honestly struggled a little bit on how I wanted to style it. I couldn't figure it out, and I realized it's because I needed to zip it all the way up. It has this really neat gold giant zipper. Yeah, I just love it. It's, it's a waffle pattern, mustardy tan tone, but I just tossed it on with a jean skirt. I have on my Prada suede boots and the Louis Vuitton purse. All of these things were thrifted, you guys. It sounds very bougie, but these are all the things that I have for special occasions. 
and I got them at a steal of a price. Uh, so that's the outfit. I'm gonna obviously be tossing on a jacket, but just wanted to show that to you. And the finalized makeup look. I just did a little brow shaving. Like I took a brow shaver and just cleaned up my brows, which I haven't done in a really long time because I've been on a no touchy, the brow hair time out for uh, indefinitely. It has actually been years since I've done any sort of maintenance on my brows at all because I didn't, I needed every hair. And I finally just gave in to the fact that maybe it might be time to at least clean up some of the strays that were going around here and then a little bit of the unibrow situation. But I love all these hairs that come in right here. So I wanna keep them all. I also don't have any lash, lash extensions on. I put about 20 million coats of mascara on so that I had a lash because my lashes do recede in length when I wear lash extensions. I'm considering if I wanna go au natural for a little while, cause that would mean my nails are natural, my lashes would be natural, and the only thing on me that wouldn't be would be my hair. And that's kind of goals, you know, to be like naturally beautiful. You know, you don't need all this stuff taped and glued to you in order to feel good, but it is nice when you wake up and you look ready, you know what I mean? Like there's nothing beats that. That's cool. I'm glad you guys uh, did that. <laughs> like nobody here. Oh great, they're barking at my husband who is hanging in the Christmas lights at the moment. Good morning, welcome to the following day. This is gonna be quick and short because I was just pre-editing this vlog. And with the gouache stone tutorial, it ended up being a very long start to the video. So I'm gonna just keep today super short. But we were hanging our Christmas lights. I just wanted to tell you how delicious that food was. And if you are ever in the area to hit up table because it's just so good. We had the cod over the cauliflower steak setting with the sauce on top and like a molasses drizzle. It was so good. We had the mac and cheese gnocchi, which is like crispy gnocchi on the outside, but softer on the inside with the most delicious cheese roux. I could just like eat it like soup. And then for dessert, we both tried the pumpkin beignets with a almond butter ganache. It was just to die for. It was to die for. We like to treat ourselves to something like that at least once a month if we can, if we can remember. Uh, just because it's just so nice to have somebody who's actually like culinarily experienced to prepare your food for you and it's just next level. So it was so good. We had such a great time. There he is <laughs> on a ladder hanging the Christmas lights that I bought. I got lights that are on a remote control. So from here, we should be able to make them do whatever we want and then turn them off in the morning because right now we have some really old lights on the house that don't shut off. Um, so this will be nice to be able to turn them off during the day so that they're not just sitting there for no reason. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. My mother-in-law comes tomorrow morning, so we're actually having to deep clean the house. I'm not able to get to the store. The construction's supposed to be starting this month. I'm kind of at a little weird place with the store right now because of the impending construction that's supposed to be taking out a wall and ceiling of the entire left side of the entire building. I've been told it's not going to be disruptive as far as my wall and ceiling, but the sound will. And I do work in that store. I try to do like video editing work in that store and I can't do that if I can't hear what I'm editing. So be being that that's predominantly what I do for work, this is a problem. So I'm kind of at a loss right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the store. So stay tuned for that because it might come to like me halting it for like a month or two or seeing if somebody else can like rent it that doesn't mind the sound and doesn't need to work from there while I take a break from it until I can figure it out. But um, next week I will be going up to Seattle again for makeup. We're going to do commercial makeup again, which is so fun. And then we're just gonna do Christmassy stuff. I don't wanna blab too much. I'm gonna go help him actually hang the Christmas lights. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting our Christmas tree with us this week. Thank you so much for watching. Happy time of Vlogmas. Even though I'm not daily, I am weekly. So subscribe if you're not. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.